Hi, everyone. Um, Marius from Render Street. Uh, thanks for being here this pre as my presentation. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, to, I'll start with a very brief intro. Um, I've, I am one of the co-founders and currently the CEO of Render Street. Uh, this means that I wrote, I'm a technical guy, I wrote uh, half, about half of the original code of the platform, so I know exactly what's inside. Well, of course, now it's left less than half written by me because the platform evolved in all these years, uh, but still I know everything that's going on there. I know a lot about rendering, and uh, I also know about what it takes to grow a business and to do a business in the Blender world. It's not an easy task. And to put things into perspective, uh, we started our farm, just a moment. I wish this worked. Okay, so we started our farm in 2012. Uh, that was our logo about that time. Uh, we started it because one of our founders had a need. We are three people in the company. One of them is an architectural rendering uh, designer. So she had a uh, need for a render farm. We didn't, we short story long, uh, or long story short, we weren't able to find any good ones at the time, so we decided to do our own. So we started out as a need of our own, and we decided to do this for, for the render artists. And uh, finally, uh, nine, seven years later, uh, we are the most recommended render farm for Blender. Uh, we've, been, we've been having this title for a few years now, and uh, it's because of our hard work, and also this translates into a few unique things that we can offer you as our users. Um, one of them is the monthly plan that uh, at the moment, if, if uh, I know correctly, we're the only ones offering this kind of plan. It's an all-you-can-render plan for a fixed fee for months. I'll tell you a bit, mo a bit more about it later. Uh, another of our unique advantages is that we have EV support. We've had it since November last year, since 2.0 was in beta. We still have it to the day and it works well, so if you have projects on using EV that are more complex that your hardware can use, you can use our farm for them. Uh, also, we have a unique mindset. We are not a hardware company like uh, most of the render farms in the market. We are a technology company. Uh, our most valuable asset is our platform, uh, and we work very hard on improving it. We work continuously, and uh, I'm not exaggerating when I, when I say this, We've had more than 50 updates this year alone to the platform. Uh, even if you don't see them, they are there and they work on your benefit. So we always upgrade, we always improve, we always do new stuff and improve stuff for you. And uh, also we try to make your life as easy as possible. We have a very easy to use interface. We have CPU and GPU support so you can render your projects no matter how big or how small they are. Uh, and we can, uh, we can put at your disposal a lot of resources. I think the most, uh, the biggest amount of uh, resources allocated to one single account was 500 machines. So this is uh, one person or one studio rendering on 500 machines, while all the other users render their own project at the same time. Uh, one important aspect uh, in this thing is that we keep your work private. Uh, I know there are a lot of solutions in the market because Blender is free, so everybody can work out their own solution and give a shot at our rendering market. Uh, I think it's very important to check the privacy of the solution that you decide to use, whether it's render state or another one. Uh, we take privacy very seriously. We have several layers of security implemented in the platform. Starting from the code level, our entire platform is custom built, so we didn't take an off-the-shelf product and use it on our infrastructure. Uh, so everything uh, is private at the code level, the infrastructure level, and operations level. So you have the certainty that whatever you send away, it remains private, 
and you decide whether you want to share it with other people or not, we don't. Also, uh, our platform is flexible. We, so it was built from the start to be able to take advantage of the cloud so we can expand uh, our infrastructure into the cloud dynamically. This means that no matter how big your job is or how small, we can render it without any uh, advance notice, without reserving the render farm for a number of hours, without paying in advance or booking or looking at in the, the calendar and see whether we have availability or not. We always have availability. There is no waiting queue for the renders. You just send your project and it's completed fast, no matter when you send it. And also, uh, we want to be flexible to allow you to use our platform in your own way. So we offer various upload and download solutions. Uh, so you can just uh, use the one you're most comfortable with or the, mo the one that integrates into the pipeline uh, best. So here is, uh, and of course, uh, we have all the features we need. We support all the Blender versions. Uh, uh, we have, I think, 10 versions in the back, so you can have maximum compatibility for all the projects. Uh, we, we have uh, we support simulations, baking simulation, or uploading your own simulation. We support texture baking. We support third-party plugins, so if you use animation nodes or flip fluids, they work on our farm. Or Blender Gurus uh, add-ons, whichever, you, whatever you use, it will work on our farm. And uh, yeah, to to wrap up this first part of the presentation, if you are to remember just one thing about today's presentation is that Render State delivers. Uh, no matter how big or how small your project is, no matter uh, what kind of tools you use, what kind, what are the memory requirements, what, are the com what is the complexity of the project, we deliver. Uh, we've had a very high deliverability, deliverability rate in the past years, over 99%. Uh, so this means that uh, whatever you send our way, it gets done. Okay, to move to the second part of the, the presentation, uh, whether you're using RenderState or not already, here are a few tips that uh, you may not know about how to use our platform uh, in, a, in the most optimized way. Uh, I wanted to talk about this because we have uh, quite a number of options, quite a number of things that I know people that people don't really read the documentation, so they are mentioned in our knowledge base, but uh, it's better when somebody talks to you about them. The first, the first thing to, to consider is that we have three different plans. We have the monthly plan, which is a low cost plan, starts, starts at $50, 45 euros per month. Uh, it's great if you have uh, large volumes uh, or relaxed deadlines, so you can render quite a lot of frames, uh, quite a lot of hours for a very low cost. The next one is the on-demand plan. This is the workhorse of our farm. Uh, most of the projects are rendered with this plan. Uh, it can render everything very fast. It's also more expensive than the monthly plan. And then there's the, the studio plan, which is dedicated for studios or people that render, uh, have large pipelines over 500 hours per month or uh, larger projects like short films or uh, feature films. Uh, this works the same uh, as the on-demand plan, but the prices are a lot lower, so uh, they, can, they can accommodate larger volumes. So this is a comparison to, to help you understand better. Uh, we took a hypothetical project taking 500 hours to complete on our farm. This is a comparison of how the three plans work and what the project would cost when used uh, with uh, any of those three plans. So you can see the monthly plan is the cheaper, uh, it only cost $150 to deliver the project. So this amounts to uh, 30 cents per hour per server hour. So the unit we, we use is the server hour, uh, but it takes longer. Then the on-demand plan delivers very, very quickly in just a few hours, it costs more. And the studio plan delivers faster than the on-demand plan, it also costs less. The trick is, as I said, that the studio plan uh, uh, requires a certain volume of rendering to, to be activated. Now, the difference between those is that the monthly plan works differently than the other two. So 
if you have a volume of rendering that's, that's four times this one, so 2,000 hours per month, uh, it will still cost the same. So the hourly price will decrease under 10 cents per hour. If you, so the more you render, the lower your hourly cost with this plan. So in addition to that, uh, because it's, it has this particular way of working, uh, you can do a number of things with them. And uh, you have to wrap your head around it a bit because as your costs don't increase with the volume, uh, you can start thinking th things a bit differently. So first of all, it frees up your workstation or your computer. You can just send the render to us and we'll take care of it and you can do something else with your computer. Just, I don't know, play a game, work on another project, uh, or just power it off and go for a walk. Um, another thing you can use it for is animation, check, uh, so you can render a quick version of your animation, uh, low resolution, low samples, it will render quickly, you'll check that animation is looking right, that all the textures are there, and then you can launch the full render with the uh, normal parameters. Uh, you won't need to re-upload the file, you can just clone the job in our interface, modify the parameters, the sample count, the resolution, and just launch the final render. You can also use it for previs or for customer acceptance. So if you have a lot of versions that you need to present to the customer, you can just render them all. No matter how many versions, your price will remain the same. And that's an advantage. Uh, you can also use to estimate the cost of your renders and also the time. You can render a few frames with it. Um, you, you'll see how much uh, it, it takes, how long it takes to render a frame. From that, you can compute the cost. You can also have our, our system automatically calculate the cost for you with the one plan, with the monthly plan, and then you can switch with just one button to the on-demand plan to finish it quicker. As I said before, you can render large volumes for a very low price. <coughs> Sorry about that. You've seen probably most of you the uh, box film that uh, won the animation award at uh, Suzanne. That was rendered using the, one, the monthly plan. So you, you've seen how it looks like. Uh, you can imagine the number of hours it took to render it. Uh, it was all done with a low cost. And of course, you can use it, uh, you can combine using it with the on-demand plan because the two plans can be active at the same time in the same account. So you can have, for instance, if you have a project with a deadline in five days from now, you can render, launch it with the monthly plan for four and a, five, four and a, four and a half days, and then uh, just half a day before the deadline, you can switch it to the, to the on-demand plan, which will deliver it in the remainder of the job in a couple of hours. So this way, you make sure that you have the lowest price for the animation, and you still meet your deadline no matter what it is. And if you're asking if it works, yes, it works. Uh, we've rendered 35 million frames to the date, so those frames are all successfully delivered, uh, and we have hundreds of people using it, and it just works, so try it out. Another feature that is not, uh, that no, not more, a lot of people know about is that uh, our farm works in a different way. So, uh, we, as, if you send a larger project our way, it will get more resources allocated to it. So because of this, if you have a project taking 100 render hours in total and a project taking having 1,000 render hours in total, they can be delivered in roughly the same time. We do this to offer you predictability because I know that you need to uh, have repeatable and predictable results so we can plan ahead for projects. So you know that no matter the size of a project, you, it'll, it will be delivered in that amount of time and you can put that in your timeline, you can put that in your code, and you can put that uh, to, to plan your project ahead so you can, both you and the client will be happy. Also, we have a feature that uh, is helpful for rendering large still images. So if you have very complex or very large still shots, uh, you can, we have a feature that automatically splits them into several pieces and renders them on several machines so we can deliver them faster. So if you, ha if you have uh, a project that takes 10 hours to render on a single machine, we can most likely deliver that in under one hour with this feature. Uh, here are the, I was talking about the upload and download options. Uh, here are all of them. You can see each of them has its own strengths. 
So you can upload uh, directly on the website. We accept files up to 10 uh, gigabytes, so we can upload them directly in the browser. It's a very fast upload with the new interface that we're about to see. Uh, and it's the simplest way. So just drag and drop the file in the browser and it will work. Uh, we also allow FTP both for uploads and downloads. And you can also uh, upload the entire project folder, just ship it to, on FTP to our farm and it will work. Uh, and you can also set automatic downloads on FTP so that you won't have to wait until all the renders are done. You, you'll just get the frames as they are completed. Uh, so when the project finishes rendering, you'll also have the frames. You can also use the add-on, which is the simplest way to send a job to, to our farm. Just click and uh, it does everything else. Uh, this is the slowest upload options, though, because of the security scheme uh, used in uh, encrypting the traffic. And, of course, we have cloud integration. You, we can both take your projects from your Dropbox account or uh, OneDrive or uh, Microsoft or Google Cloud, and you can, we can also send the frames back to your cloud. And I know this is uh, obvious probably for most of you, but check the knowledge base. Uh, we have a lot of information there. It will help whether you have questions or uh, if you encounter some issues. <coughs> for instance, we have uh, a troubleshooter for uh, pink textures or missing textures. Just check the knowledge base, and if you don't find the answer there, we'll be happy to help you out. And now the new interface. Uh, you're the most, you're the, among the first people to see it. It's in closed beta right now, but we're showcasing it here. You can see it live at the first floor in our booth. Uh, it's a total rewrite of the job management interface. We dumped everything and started from zero. And uh, this is what it looks like. You, we try to keep the same clean and easy to understand aspect of the website while making it more, more modern and more responsive. Uh, the interface has more uh, information displayed about the jobs. Uh, you can see larger thumbnails. Uh, it's also mobile friendly and basically any device friendly, so you can use it on your mobile phone, you can use it on any device on a tablet and so on. Uh, it has, as I was saying, it has faster uploads. Uh, so this is the comparison, the old interface versus the new interface, the same file, the same connection, the same time. You can see that in the new interface, the upload is almost complete. The old, in the old interface, uh, the upload is almost at halfway. Uh, the number, the new features added in the new interface, you can now sort the jobs by uh, a number of criteria. You can filter the jobs, again, by uh, rendering engine or CPU or GPU status and so on. You can tag jobs, and this is an important feature that a lot of people ask for. If you share the account with more than one people or uh, if you work on more than one project at a time, you can just tag the respective jobs with the project name or the person that uses, it, uh, uses the account. So you can just work on the specific jobs that you want. Uh, for the uh, monthly plan understood one, there's also a feature that allows you to manually re reorder the jobs so that uh, you, if you want to prioritize a job, just drag it at the top, just drag and drop, and it will get all the resources assigned to it so it, it will finish faster. And of course, there's a dark mode. Uh, everybody does dark mode now. A lot of people have asked for it. I know that a lot of people, a lot of people work at night, so a dark mode is easier on the eyes. So now you can choose between the dark mode and the light mode. Uh, that's where the presentation ends. I want to thank you for your support. Uh, we wouldn't be able to do this without your continuous support, and thank you for using us, uh, all of you. Uh, for those who are not using us, just give us a shot, and you won't be sorry. Uh, thank you for watching the presentation. If you have any questions, I think we have some time. I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you. You, so there are, you can sign up for the account and you get some free credits. 
or you can take the trial for the monthly plan, which is just one dollar for 24 hours, and you can use all those 24 hours to render and test everything you want. Uh, I cannot give you an answer to that because, uh, as I said, our platform can expand seamlessly into the cloud, so uh, we don't really have a limit. Uh, we can allocate resources from the cloud as, as many as we need for the jobs. This is why I said that we don't have queues. Uh, any job that comes just gets assigned its own set of servers and starts rendering. So basically, sky is the limit. We can use all the major cloud providers if we decide to. Yeah. Okay, going once, yes. We use both uh, on-premises and uh, rented hardware. So we, we have quite a mix of hardware and uh, the beauty of it is that we managed to put everything together in a way that's transparent for the user. So the user doesn't need to know and or concern themselves with this. They just need to know that they can they send the job to us and we take care of it. Okay, going once, going twice. Thank you.